Okay, time to learn everybody's favorite homage to corn liquor, Mountain Dew. Not the neon colored carbonated sugar water, but the uh, clear beverage made from fermented corn. This is a uh, great song to learn early on. Fairly straightforward melody, easy to get under your fingers, and a crowd pleaser. Remember, there is no correlation between how hard something is to play and how much people will like it. In fact, more often than not, the reverse is true. So these simpler melodies like this really allow you to focus in on getting solid rhythm and timing, which is really what listeners care about and what makes for great banjo playing, rather than being able to play a ton of notes per second. And we're going to be learning it in the two-finger thumb lead style. Uh, this is, song is perfectly suited for it. It lays out very well for two-finger thumb lead. And, you know, this song should sound like it was played in the Appalachian Mountains during Prohibition. So I think two-finger thumb lead fits that bill nicely. In this video, we're going to build this arrangement for Mountain Dew step by step from the ground up. Um, so there will be a tab uh, that we'll be using for reference and you can download it using the, the link in the description, but we're not just going to learn the movements, we are going to learn this in a way that will build a variety of skills so that it will make you a better player after you go through this process. And there is also, I recently posted a Brain Joe Jam track for Mountain Dew, so you are strongly encouraged uh, to utilize that as you are learning this tune and after you've learned, learned it to practice it. Okay, first things first, let's get in tune. We're going to be playing this in the key of G out of standard G tuning. D on the fourth string. G on the third. B on the second. on the first and a G on the fifth okay now let's go over the chords oh, we're just gonna be using our one chord open strings our four chord which is the G major our four chord which is the C major second fret of the fourth string and the first string first fret of the uh, second string and then our D major, our, four, our five chord, which uh, for this one, I'm gonna make the partial D. So it's just third fret, second string, second fret, third string. And we're leaving those two open D notes there. Okay, so here are the chords. We're gonna start on our uh, open G. Down the road here from me, there's an old holler tree where you move to the four, the C. Lay down a dollar roar. Back to the G, the one, two. Stroll round the bend, you'll come back again. There's a jug full of that. Now we'll go to that D, the five chord. Good old mountain, and back to the G. Do super easy. Down the road here from me, there's an old holler tree where you lay down a dollar or two. Stroll round the bend, you'll come back again. There's a jug full of that good old mountain. That's it. All right. So verse and chorus, same chord progression. Super simple uh, and pretty much same melody too. All right. So now let's just find our melody notes. Nothing else, right? We're going to, we're going to first, again, we're building our skeleton, chords, melody notes, and then we're going to start decorating it. All right. So let's find those melody notes down the road here from me. There's an old holler tree Where you lay down a dollar or two Okay, next part almost the same starts out almost the same stroll around the bend you Come back again, there's a Jug full that good old Mountain Dew. Strongly recommend, especially when you're starting with the banjo, beginning, intermediate, always know where your melody notes are. Start with the process. Again, this is sort of the foundational. These are your landmarks. This is a skeleton 
uh, that any tune is built with. And knowing that skeleton when you're playing a tune is super, super important. All right, so there's our melody, our chords. So now all we have left to do is surround these melody notes, but with some banjo decorations. In this case, we're playing two finger thumb lead style. So we're essentially surrounding it with drone strings, drone notes on the first string and the fifth string. Now remember, these, this way of arranging this song is one out of a limitless number of possibilities. So how we chose to drone around the strings, how we choose to decorate this melody, is really a personal choice. This is just one way of doing it amongst tons of different possibilities that would sound great, as is true of every single banjo arrangement played by anybody, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with a couple of pickup notes. Move to our first full measure. Deciding to pull off that last note there because I like the sound. Next measure. All right, next measure. All right, that's where we are in the song. Remember, try to keep it, keep it, keep track of where we are in the song as we're going through this. All right, we'll repeat that same thing. And then we're moving to our four chord, our C major. Lay down. Next measure. Back to our open strings. All right, and then we're kind of closing out this phrase and leading into the next one. So that whole first half of the melody sounds like this. Okay, next set of measures. Last part of the song starts out the same. Again. Next measure. Next measure, fill up my jug. Again. Next measure. Next measure. Again. Moving to our five chord, the D major. One more time. And back to our open strings, one chord. Okay, so that second half sounds like this. So now the whole song. Now, remember, two-finger thumb lead is also a great style if you want to sing and play. And if you're just getting started doing this, you can just do one simple pattern throughout. Uh, thumb pinches. Or something like... All right, down the road near from me, there's an old holler tree where you lay down on a dollar or two. Around the bend, you'll come back. and then you go back to the singing and so on and then you have a wonderfully entertaining song in two finger thumb lead style. 
All right, as I mentioned, there's a Brain Joe Jam track for this uh, song. So as you're learning it, and especially after you've learned it, I strongly recommend playing along um, and practicing uh, jamming and uh, with that track. Practice changing the droning configuration, you know, practice playing it your own way. Ultimately, that's the goal is to make it your own. And to close things out, I'm going to demonstrate playing what we've just learned with the Mountain Dew Brain Joe Jam track. Down the road. Oh, no.